So if you're doing a setting of lyrics and you feel like, oh, I don't know what the right way is to find a melody from lyrics, I have a very, very simple, basic formula that works for me. So first I will read the poem on the page. Just enjoy it. Then I'll get out my pen and write down the number of syllables next to each line of the poem to start to do some investigative work to see what um, patterns might be naturally embedded in the poem that I'm reading. Some poems are very um, systematic and they have the same number of syllables in every line. Some are more prosy and they have no rhyme or reason. Sometimes I do, um, looking up here at Mr. David Crosby will sometimes email me um, little snippets of ideas that he has and his lyrics often are like very colloquial kind of spoken stuff and I have a, a fun time trying to take his lyrics and put them into form and find some sort of rhythm and mild rhyme in his lyrics but let's say um, let's say we're talking Shakespeare um, oftentimes Shakespeare is an iambic pentameter, so you've got 10 syllables, and oftentimes it's stressed on the second, on every other, so da, da, di, da, di, da, di, da, di, da, da, right? A lot of Shakespeare is like that. So I'm thinking of Sonnet 116, which is, let me not to the marriage of true minds. Um, so let's pretend, I'm just gonna look at the first line. Let me not to the marriage of, let me not to the marriage of true minds. So I could set the melody the way that Shakespeare was putting the emphasis as iambic pentameter, but I wanted to go for something more natural. So then you take a moment and you have a personal moment with the line and you say, how would I, speak this if I was just reading it off the page. So if I'm reading that off the page, I would say, let me not to the marriage of true minds, which also has a natural rhythm to it, but it's a little more flowy. Let me not, I linger on not, to the marriage of true minds. True minds kind of true minds, you know? Let me not to the marriage of true minds. So then, this very simple but useful exercise, you kind of go into a meditative place and you just say it over and over again until you start to tune in to the fact that everything has a melody. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then that becomes magnified and more magnified and more magnified until you notice that you're singing. So for example, let me not to the marriage of true minds. Let me not to the marriage of true minds. Let me not to the marriage of true minds. Let me not to the marriage of true minds. I fast forwarded a little bit. Let me not to the marriage of true minds. You know what I mean? Let me not to the marriage of true minds. And that's an actual melody from a setting of that poem that, um, that I used. And by sort of unlocking that one little bit, it started unfolding lots of bits of the poem.